everybody, it's Dara, and I am about to make a tomato soup. The easiest, fastest, raw, creamy tomato soup with these little cherry tomatoes. And I have about a pint and a half here. Oh, I found a pepper that I grew in my garden. This is a bishop's hat pepper. I'll put some of that in. So it'll be a little creamy, a little bit of heat. We have so much medicine on this table. I just did a video of my farmer's market finds where I did want to say that when we, I just wanted to add that when we contract a headache, when we have a headache, the fastest way to get rid of a headache is to understand what gave us the headache. When we get a stomach ache, what are we nervous about? Things like that. So if an, a health opportunity lands in our bodies, we want to just think about the emotional reasons we might have it. That helps in our efforts to get better and then we eat all of this. So, okay, so I have my tomatoes. I'm gonna to put them in. To make the soup creamy, uh, we're gonna use one of my organic non-dairy creamers, which is hemp seeds or cashews, or, you know, we can use uh, macadamia nuts. We can use uh, almond milk. There's so many things we can do to make it creamy without adding dairy, which is gonna clog up our system different than dairy from a cow that hasn't been pasteurized. Raw dairy has enzymes in it to help us digest. Pasteurized dairy is just turning into mucus in our bodies. Give up dairy and you'll see what comes out. You'll feel so much better. Um, and that's not saying the raw dairy. That's a whole other thing. So I'm going to put in a can full of cashews because I've ran out of hemp seeds. I kind of prefer hemp seeds, but these will do the trick. Ideally, we uh, soak cashews two to four hours, but it's okay, I'm gonna do a handful. It's quite all right to use them like this because they're gonna blend. We have our salt, a couple pinches of salt. I will love some black pepper for sure. So this whole thing that I'm doing every day about food and feeling good, it's really the underlying thing is that we just want to be well. We want to be vibrant, right? We want to, if we are what I, we, we eat, we want to be colorful, right? We want to be live and vibrant and colorful, full of nutrients and excitement. Anti-cancer, anti-cancer. And the drink I'm drinking is anti-things like that, of that nature. Uh, this is Pau de Arco and Cat's Claw Tea Brewing. I have my little mud of this and I just have a little sip of this. So I have fun when I play with my produce. I make food like I make love. Only kidding. But you are making love with your food. That's really how I want you to think about food. Like it's this joy and it's this sensual thing and it's... Um, a way to entertain yourself and create, create love. And that's what I do. And so this, I'm not gonna stop until it's delicious. It's gonna be gorgeous, so you're gonna watch the process. I could even put in this hot tea, watch that. That's the creative process. So this is going to be a little warm because the tea is hot. So there's nothing wrong with that. And there is nothing wrong with taking this soup especially if you've stored it in the refrigerator and you come home from work, let's say you made it the day before, it's in a mason jar, you come home from work and it's cold, there's nothing wrong with putting it on the stove, stirring it, standing there, and making it warm to the touch. So we have this, I put in the salt, I put in the pepper, you could put in garlic, you could put in basil. Mm, I can't have basil, weirdly enough. Don't ask, I'm gonna do another food allergy test to see what is going on. Please check out my farmer's find, my farmer's market find, and you can see what this is. It's good for your brain. Okay, so we're on. Let's make sure we're closed. Yep, we're closed. Now, I was saying in the last video that when you make tomato soup, by all means, or tomato sauce, feel free to seed the tomatoes. I was not about to cut the cherry tomatoes in half and seed them so they're all going in. But if you're making a sauce and you have a big tomato, you can seed it. And, or, or you can go to Frontier Organics and order the sun-dried tomato powder and that will give some more flavor, some more potency. Now what happens with 
tomatoes, when you blend them, it could be a little bitter. You might not have you might not have the sweetness that you need to offset that. So I like to add, I'm going to put a couple teaspoons of this. I like to add a date. I have a nice big fat one and I'm going to add that in. Have a little date, have a little romance. <laughs> this is our romantic tomato soup, which I'm going to have for dinner with a beautiful salad, teeny chopped up salad, with some of my surprise ingredients sauteed. That's going to be fun. Look at the last video. Okay, now we have this. Okay, so let's see for real how it tastes, because this is not a recipe, but, oh, it looks very nice. Oh my gosh, I have to say it's perfect. It's really perfect. Just a pinch or two of salt. I would add a little bit more salt because I like things salty. But this is phenomenal. And if you have to go to work, the Nutribullet comes, the Nutribullet 900 comes with, I sound like a saleswoman. I'm not a saleswoman for Nutribullet. I just really love it. And I, you could put the cap on and take it to work and there are no excuses for not having a healthy lunch at work because this will fill you up. And if it doesn't, ne the next day do my one true thing green soup because that will fill you up. So if you're serving this to someone, oh, wouldn't it be beautiful to put this in a bowl and make a little cashew cream? And we can do that. And then you make the cashew cream with a little lemon juice, uh, maybe a little ginger, a little salt. And then, and how you do that is just cashews, water, ginger, lemon juice, salt. And you make a really thick one and then you just drizzle that on top of the tomato sauce. And then you sprinkle little sprigs of, of greens on top, some black pepper, and you have a gorgeous, warm, creamy tomato soup. So I'm really excited about this. I seriously can't wait to eat it. <laughs> Gotta go. Get your greens on, and I will see you soon. Cheers.